We have an icon in the wings. <gasps> okay, is this really happening? Because I heard someone was gonna be here and I can't even wrap my little head around it. We've been asking her for a while because we're such huge fans of hers for everything she's done in her life and also the really fun world she's created on Twitter that just has everybody on the Twitter feeder. Oh my God. And on her highly trafficked Twitter account, she is, as we know, the big Bridgerton fan, and she has been demanding the return of the Duke. Please welcome someone we have been waiting with anticipation and having the pleasure and the honor of speaking with. Please welcome music icon, six-time Grammy Award winner, and the queen of Twitterverse now, Dionne Warwick, the legend! <laughs> We know that you are our sister in Bridgerton hood, right? Uh, and uh, a topic near and dear, dear to your heart is reggae John Page. Uh, GQ says the dashing Duke should be the next James Bond. Uh, I'd watch that. Someone needs to take over for Daniel Craig. He's retiring from Bond after his fourth and final uh, 007 film, No Time to Die. And um, reggae is in the mix. Do you think he'd make a good one? Honey, as far as I can say, he can do anything he mm -hmm. wants. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> totally agree. Now, there are other names in the mix. Let's see, there's uh, Michael B. Jordan. Who would be great too, right? Harry Styles is in the mix. What do you think of Harry Styles? No. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Well, I feel like I love the other male ideas, but I'm still voting for Reggae Jean Page. Dion, what do you think? Yeah, that's a fit of had a heartbeat right there. You know what I'm saying? I and do. That, I've always been what James Bond represented that, that sex symbol, but still suave and yeah. Yeah, there yeah. was one other name too. I want to get your opinion on Idris Elba. Absolutely. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. He's another heartthrob, you know. I saw him once outside of the Golden Globes and he was like, he needed his car. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like my one in this Elvis story. He was like, I need the car. We gotta get in the car. See, that's already, that I, makes a good bond. He's got I, somewhere to go. I, gotta get in the car. <laughs> gotta like, crime to solve. Of course, I wanted to like stop and chat with him, but I was like, he really seems like he needs to get somewhere. So I'm not gonna annoy him right now, but I was freaking out that I was next to Idris Elba. This was like, I don't know, 12 years ago. You were rubbing elbows. <laughs> <with them. laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> I, I, had, I had the pleasure of meeting him at uh, the premiere of one of his films. I can't remember the name of the film, in, in fact. And I met his daughter, so I met his fiance at the time. Uh, oh, such a charming young man. True. I love him. Okay, mm. next story. We are talking the latest in wedding fashion. The new bridal trend popping up on the internet is the bridal bucket hat. It's the bucket hat the 90s movie made famous, but in wedding white instead. I don't know why the 90s movies made this famous. I think Fisherman made this famous. Well, yeah, yeah, it's a little like fish stick. Dion, I would love to get your take on this. Um, I don't know why any bride, especially a bride, who want to look like a fisherman. <laughs> the veil is the mystery. You know, that is the mysterious part of being a bride. When nobody really sees, they anticipate that lifting of the veil to see that beautiful face. I'm getting married soon. Do you think I should wear a veil? Um, no. Understood. Thank you. All right, I'll write that down for me. Okay. Dion, you've spread so much joy. <laughs> this year over Twitter, and now we're gonna get even more Dion in a live stream concert event. Is this right? Yes, that's right. Oh. Mother's Day, May 9th. It's gonna be a wonderful, wonderful evening. Uh, we did one for Easter, and that, that went over exceptionally well. We had a lot of fun, people appreciated it, and they missed the music, as I do. So, Mother's Day, May 9th. Google Dion Warwick, go to Mandolin, and we'll all spend the afternoon and the evening together. I'll oh, be there. We cannot wait for that. Thank you, Dion Warwick, for finally joining us here on the show where there's just nothing but love for you. Thank you. Andre. I certainly appreciate that. And you guys take good care of yourselves, please. We do. We love you. We love you.